Welcome back to Raccoon Tweeties. Gerardo, how's your day? Uh, today was the day from oh. Brendan Schaub interrupted you to tell you that today was the day from f***ing hell. <laughs> Jesus, well not f***ing. Oh yeah, we shouldn't cut this early in the episode. I'm going to start again. <laughs> to raccoon tweeties jarda how are you doing my day was great today dude thank oh, yeah, you for yeah, asking so much yeah rub it in i already told you my day sucked <laughs> brendan Schaub interrupting ever oh. heard of it oh but no i'm sorry go ahead no it was great dude i really yeah i was more mexican than ever today dude you know why because i dropped that pico de gallo oh you dropped the video with your mom yeah right? yeah check out that video is very good yeah I, was, I have to say i was very impressed the raw footage of it was super funny. We watched it here together, and I kept see, like seeing stuff. I was like, "Oh yeah, that's funny. Mm-hmm. That's funny. That's funny." Man up, man up, man up, man up. <laughs> it was good stuff. So I hope the Patreon subs enjoy it because it's only a Patreon, right? Uh, maybe when this episode comes out, it's public. I'm okay. not sure yet, though. We're not going to keep that under wraps for long. That's I also shared funny. it on my story, so if you follow us on Instagram, you'll get to see little things little here clips, and there. Right, yeah. Clips, right? No, I shared the whole link. On the whole this. link. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, then there you go. So you can either be on Patreon or. Follow Gerardo on Instagram. <laughs> well, just for that. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I like it. Because I wanted people to see it. It was a great idea. You can't, something like that is something that you want to show people. Yeah. Right? It was a good idea. It's basically you cooking pico de gallo with your mom and then asking her about Shab and me <laughs> and seeing what she has to say. I told her next time we do it, I'll try not to bring up Shab as much. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think the Shab aspect of it is really great because she's like, I don't even know him. But the Who problem is that, is that she's sharing it to my tias and my aunt, uncles and stuff. They probably think I'm going through a mental breakdown, dude. Bring up this other guy. So I'm talking about men on your waves. Uh, no, I think they get it. Especially George. Mm. I'm sure he gets it. Oh, Jorge? Jorge, yes. Yeah. Jorge is the kind of guy I looked at him and I was like, this is a guy that understands, right? Yeah. He gets it right away. Yeah. He's like, oh, you're making fun of that idiot? <laughs> it's funny. He doesn't know who we're talking about, but he gets it. But yeah. uh, so anyways, my day was great. Your day was uh, all right, right? My day was shit. <laughs> My day started off horrible. It started, I woke up er, like I woke up early in the morning because I'm all the way on the west side with my girlfriend. But I have this routine when I wake up on Mondays, if I stay over there in the weekend, ever heard of it? I uh, wake up early because I got a big drive ahead of me and she's got to go to work. So I get up and I go to like a coffee shop. Around 4.34, like, right? 4.34 in the morning on the dot. <laughs> yeah. And I go to a coffee shop. They're not open yet, so I kick around for a while because it is only like, you know, it's like I have to wait at least until five, right? Yeah, right. Find a coffee shop that operates at the same level that I do, right? <laughs> <laughs> a hockey shop. A hockey a shop. Hockey, a hockey <laughs> coffee shop. Coffee shop, if you will. <laughs> so I stroll in there and I get an Amer- an iced Americano, as you do oh, as well. hell yeah. Every dude. time, nothing else. And then some sort of... Treat of some kind, maybe a, I've been getting smoothies lately too. All right, I and used to be a milkshake boy. Yeah, so well, smoothie, sir. Yeah, okay, be cool. I was trying to identify. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, only recently though. Usually, I don't get smoothies because it's like a lot of you know. You don't want to spend too much money on these kinds of things, but bunch the, of sugar. It's yeah, it's a sugar. But the ones at uh, Tanner's Coffee Shop, ever heard of it? Are not too sugary. So I got a strawberry. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. I got a strawberry banana one today. Nice. Yeah. Uh, so put a little bit of mango in it. <laughs> yeah, I said, do you have any kiwis? <laughs> so I got a strawberry mango kiwi one. But anyway, that's my routine. So it's kind of relaxing, you know. I have this these two drinks, or I get a drink and a treat of some kind. I'm driving home listening to a podcast, maybe the daily, maybe Ooh. uh you know, my friend Oathman's podcast, it doesn't matter. Ever heard of it? Or Guys We Fucked, right? Guys We Fucked. Yeah, I was always tuned on to Guys We Fucked. <laughs> One of my favorite New York comic. Po- like, no, I would never do that because I'm loyal to Trash Tuesdays, okay? okay. I can only listen to one girly podcast. I can only become obsessed 
with one girly podcast yeah. at a time. But anyway, so I'm listening. But to this morning, instead of that, I woke up 7 a.m. to miss text from earlier. So someone had texted me even earlier than 7 a.m. Oh, my God. That's crazy, yeah. right? Um, and I had been up for hours because of the 434 thing. But anyway, so I'm like looking at it. I'm about to go to the coffee shop, and uh, the text says the gate is not opening at work. So the gate for people to come in inside. Has that ever park. happened before? No, not in the morning. <laughs> I mean, the gate The gate has malfunctioned before, yeah. right? You know, and I just went in there and I hocked it. Usually what you got to do, we maybe blank some of that out so people don't know how to break into our work gate. <laughs> but so, um, and finally we get it done. But it was just a whole a whole day of not being able to park. People were getting, people were getting parking tickets and tires were exploding. And, the you know, someone flipped their TRX in the parking lot. I'm making stuff up now because the story wasn't as good as I thought. <laughs> I'm like, should I even be telling this story? But that, that your boy had a stressful day. Okay? Yeah. You know, I, I was like, basically what happened was I woke up thinking that I was going to have a good day and God was like, cool story, bro. Oh, you yeah. Know? And he, what he did was he took traction mode off control mm-hmm. or took the control off traction mode. And he went Baja mode on my ass. Yeah. All right. Pause. But yeah. Pause. <laughs> yeah. So basically I thought I was going to die, you know, but. I made it. By the grace of God, dude. By the grace of God, I'm here. Um, I don't trust the gate anymore. Uh, I cannot believe that it rained. Yeah. Like, I just was like, really? Mm-hmm. This is going to rain all over me after all this shit? Yep. I've been up since as like as early as possible just dealing with this shit, trying to wheel and deal my way out of it. Nothing is working. I tried all the different batteries, tried connecting things like MacGyver. You go out there with a like, paper clip and do it myself. Nothing works. The way you articulate it is definitely not reality, dude. How so? Because I know you. You're <laughs> you're probably there with the umbrella and just like looking at everything. And so in your oh, mind, right. you're MacGyvering everything and stuff, but you're yes. not really doing anything. You just have the I understand it completely what you're saying. I get it. Because I, I see speak it. I don't kill it. Because I speak to it. <laughs> yeah. Don't kill that. That quack quack. No, no. I know I get what you're saying. Because you you have seen me outside of work mode, okay, right? Yeah, There's yeah. these are two different guys. Being, <laughs> okay, here you see a guy that doesn't know anything about cameras, computers, is maybe lazy. Some people could say lazy, and and I don't want to figure it out, and I don't have the capacity to figure it. Com- capacity, I don't have the capacity to figure out. So then you step in and you go in like a hawk mode, and you go mm-hmm. caca, you and you caca everything to make it work. Mm-hmm. Okay, this is different. All right. I can't do clips, mm. all right? I'm too busy, all right? I have two podcasts to worry about, being the host that you see in front of you all. <laughs> I don't have the time to figure this up, but at work, that's a different animal, mm. all right? So for me, it's podcast, work, sleep. Mm-hmm. Those are my, That's my fish, ca- fish car's kids. <laughs> so I need to be the best that I am doing what I do now, and then... Um, at work, I got to bring that same energy okay. every time in any facet. People are like, I forgot to do this. Don't worry about it. I already did it. <laughs> people are like, I my car exploded because the gate wouldn't open. Don't worry about it. Bought you a new car. Oh, man. I Dude, I, if I was the expert producer that I wish I was, I would have CCTV footage of you just standing there with the umbrella, <laughs> the umbrella. the whole time. Well, the guy's working hard. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you're not even holding the umbrella over me. <laughs> he got the umbrella out so like because we're working with electric, electrical stuff, yeah. and he wanted me to hold it out, and I was like, I was holding it and just standing there like I'm the fucking uh, kid in that uh, st- it the movie oh, yeah, it, yeah. you know and like he's the, going in the sewer or whatever. Mm-hmm. Man, that shit sucked. Yeah, I mean, before dude. he showed up, I tried everything. I tried different batteries. I tried putting the wire through the battery. I tried flipping the motor switch. I wish I had known that you could just you know do the the trick of because it's like magnet operator or whatever. Oh yeah, take it out traction control and put it in Baja mode. I wish I had known to do that. You know, but all I know is eight inches. I yeah, know yeah. jack nothing. You should have checked the valves. <laughs> yeah. I had the blower. I was like, I don't, if it was a truck, I would have been like so easy. I just checked oh, the blower. It would have been done yesterday. Raptors don't even mess up like that usually. Yeah. You know, the, mm-hmm. you, the only time you get life is like you get a lemon. Mm-hmm. But most of the time, those trucks run like freaking uh, Joe Rogan experience. Just <laughs> s- smooth, smooth, never any issues. Yep. Truck walk. But no, this was this was a whole thing. Well, I'll tell you one thing, dude. Listen, I'm empathetic to you, dude. Yeah. That's a crazy ass day. I'm in a fucking, I'm in a muscle tee right now, dude. I'll fuck anyone you want up, dude. Yeah. You want to fuck a gate up? I'll do it, dude. What? What? Why are you in a muscle tee? Just you work out or something? Or what's going on? 
The boy doesn't have a lot of clothes right now, dude. I'm looking right. for an apartment still. You know, the fucking hunt is on, dude. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. I mean, I thought it'd be cool to wear something different than like the four revolving shirts I've been wearing every day. <laughs> <laughs> so you're living out of a suitcase, basically. basically, right? Yep. You don't have time to do. Where are you doing your laundry at? Uh, multiple places. What's with the questions, dude? <laughs> I don't know. It's just, I laugh <laughs> thinking about that. Like someone watching this and be like, did he just ask the other guy where he did his laundry at? <laughs> what kind of podcast is this? The best podcast. Yeah. I go to my mom's once a week, so I do my laundry there. Right. And then if I remember to do it, I'll do it there. That's basically. Good. I'm glad you have somewhere to go. But I, what I was trying to say is that, uh, and maybe it wasn't that bad for you today, dude. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, it wasn't really. I'm complaining about something that in the end kind of worked out. And I didn't, it was just like stressful the entire day. And stuff kept piling on, you know. Because somebody else had a worse day than you did, dude. Yeah, who's that? Daniel fucking Cabral. Dude. Oh, yeah, I saw a little bit of that. Our our friend, you might, uh, if you are a fan of the pod, long time, you might remember him as T.O. Vaughn. Right? Oh, yeah. Of T.O. T.O. Vaughn, dude. Of Theo T.O. Vaughn. Yep. Um, another spicy individual. <laughs> He did our show in the early... He actually did a 10 Minutes of Shab episode. Yeah. Never heard of it. <laughs> so check that out. Uh, a lot of people gadooshed him for that. <laughs> I remember he was like trying to argue and he told me, he was like, you know, like I was doing a character. <laughs> he, he was like, I'm not like... He w- I wanted to tell the fans, like, you could tell I'm not like dumb, right? <laughs> and I was like, you're doing a character? <laughs> I didn't even know you were. I thought that... Because I didn't think he was dumb, but I guess he thought he came off as dumb. Yeah, so dude. right in the comments, in, our, in our, one of the early episodes, did... Daniel Cabral come off as stupid. <laughs> um, but he he's a good friend of ours, and yeah. his Instagram got hacked. Yeah, so, dude. Yeah. Well, first of all, have you ever got hacked on social media? No, knock on wood. Thankfully, I've yeah, not been dude, hacked. Same here, dude. You know who else got hacked? It was Brent Shop. Remember? Oh, who, I've talked oh about yeah. He, Twitter. Before. Yeah. His Twitter got hacked, and Mark Harley told me before anybody else. I don't matter. I didn't count, but that made me feel pretty cool. They somehow changed your email, I guess, or whatever, dude. Or how long, how deep does the hack go? I don't really know the inner workings of how they do this thing, but it seems like a lot of comedians get hacked. I don't know if yeah. that's because I only know the 1,000 that can do it, and that's mainly my friend group. Well, we're the last line of defense, whatever. dude. Yeah. Yeah. We're the woke meets the wall. Oh, I can't even say Where it. Where the hackers meet the, the, the wall. Yeah, the profiles. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no. I, so he, the person who hacked him is from a different country? Uh, yeah, so he, I think it's just a... Uh, skits and bits really but he said india first and then he said nigeria he's just saying like, oh so he's like a, yeah. he's like a, a comedy genius he's trying to yeah. work in some bits there okay yeah. so they, pause for even, laughter exactly <laughs> so not even the continent or the state are true yeah so this is his old profile dude and this is the one that got social media in a a flurry today dude it says uh Thanks to the Lord Almighty. <laughs> That's how you know it's not Daniel, dude. I bought my new house with the help of an expert investor friend, Peggy Heyman. She helped me to invest my money in dollar sign, just in case you don't know what the money is. Right, right, right. That Got I used it, yeah. to buy my new house. Thanks, Peggy Heyman. Two times with Peggy Heyman. Yeah, if you tag someone twice, it does you not seem true. real, right? Yeah. Well, it's always something like buying something, hacking with these hackers. Yeah. It's either buying a house or a car or Bitcoin. Yeah. They're, or not Bitcoin. Um, what's that other thing with the the NFTs? I've seen a lot of comedians get hacked by someone who turns their whole profile into an N- NFT shop. God damn. It's like, oh, wow. I guess my whole, my, if your account get, gets hacked, they're like, Gerald is really in NFTs all of a sudden. That's all he cares about. Wow. Caitlin Jeffers really took a turn on this NFT thing, didn't she? It's interesting. Yeah. She used to tweet about <laughs> comedy and native stuff and guys not texting her back. And now it's just only pictures of NFTs that are for sale. And she must, and she must be really into it now. And so this is uh, the painted narrative, obviously, by Becky Heyman, or if, that, if, if ever heard of her. I don't think so. But no. uh, Riverside, California, as you can see the tag here. <laughs> That's a house in Riverside. <laughs> and then uh, wow. this is the beach in Riverside, in Riverside. California. Nice. <laughs> Damn, who knew Riverside was, uh, was balling like this? Yeah, I mean, Daniel's killing it, dude. Um this, this, uh, what are the comments on these? Are people believing this? Yeah, no, nobody believes it. Uh, okay. People are sarcastically saying, like, nice, brother. And then yeah, yeah. Uh, Peggy Heyman in his account will respond back and be like, thanks, with the pairs emoji. So when I saw the pair emoji, I'm like, wait, maybe maybe this is Daniel because he does that a lot. So she's replying to? Yeah, so let's see if I can find one. Uh, how exciting. Congratulations. Right here. Thanks. <laughs> oh, my God. Is that Compton? Love it there. 
Uh, thanks with the pair emoji. So no answer. Weird. Yeah. Um, but before we go further, because we wanted to showcase Daniel's talent just to get him more followers. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But- yeah, when you're working at a yeah. scam bot shop, you don't want to get fired, dude. Because <laughs> like, you can't really put that on a resume. How long you been there for six years or something, you know? It's like a business and they look at the, they have like a checklist of what they're supposed to follow and the scam bots looks at, all right, okay, so, all right, you hacked a popular account. Oh, but you forgot to pin mm. our post first. Well, I'm sorry. Mm. That means you don't get paid this month. Because <laughs> I imagine hackers don't get paid very much. Yeah. And they're probably hustling for every hack. Did you reply to all the comments? Did you put prayer hand emojis? Okay, well, then your family doesn't eat this month if you forgot. <laughs> did, you, did you say it was in Riverside? <laughs> did you, yeah, where, where do they get Riverside from? <laughs> well, how do these hackers pick what they do is, is interesting. I mean, yeah. I'd love to, like, watch some documentary, but we can't do that anymore because Vice is gone. Oh, so fuck, There's not going to be yeah. any more documentaries about how hackers hack Instagram. Or when, when your spam bot is non-binary. Yeah, we'll never know. Yeah. Damn, yeah. how to talk to a... How to talk to a transgender bot. Or, yeah, how to talk to a sex worker that um, scams Instagrams on the side. <laughs> what does the hacker get out of hacking Daniel's account? Yeah. I mean, are they selling that house? It's not in Riverside. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, I don't know what they get. Well, I think it's a way of like getting your information. Oh, uh, and then they try and hack stuff. Yeah, probably. So, why even draw attention by responding and things? So um, maybe you hack someone else because they respond to you. Yeah, kind of thing? so I I responded to the post and then I just deleted the DM that Daniel sent me. Or, oh, so when you respond to the post, it just DMs, mass DMs. Yeah, mm. they were like, "Yo, beg Peggy Hammond, dude, is on some other shit, dude." And I'm like, oh, "Come on, Daniel, don't uh-huh. get, you know." What is that? What they said? Do you remember what Peggy Hammond said to you as Daniel? Basically, I, I told you, but like not l- verbatim. It was just that, oh, Peggy's the best. You got to yeah, hit her up. Yeah. Some, mm. some along the lines like, dude, Peggy got me so much money, dog. You're not going to believe it. You got to try it, dog. <laughs> so then you message Peggy and somehow she gets your information? I guess. And then it says wizard emoji, peach emoji, black square emoji. <laughs> yeah, 35. And yeah, you're 35. Like, hey, Daniel, what, what's up with that house? And it says 35. <laughs> wow. Uh, Peggy is one of the best real estate agents in the game, dude. If you're looking at do anything, yeah. not even just real estate, hit her up. Yeah. Uh, are you afraid to click on Peggy Heyman's cat like thing? Uh, I think it's a private account anyways. Yeah, okay, yeah. So probably best not to click on it, I guess. Yeah, okay. Don't pick, click on it then. Let's click on it. Yeah. Let's be risky. Risk it. I'm not going to respond to any. Okay. So Peggy is a family <laughs> and it looks like what it looks like to be, I might do my eyes to see me or is that a black Santa Claus? Oh, in the corner. Uh, let's see here. It, it looks like a black Santa, dude. Doesn't it look like a black Santa Claus? Yeah. What an interesting detail. Yeah, that's weird. A white woman with two devoted follower of Christ. Well, not very Christ-like two no. scam people. <laughs> yeah. Binary trade account manager. What's binary trade? Um, Expert I, miner, Bitcoin. I know that. It's like when uh, when you trade on the stock market, but only in, in intervals of zero or one. <laughs> Peggy Hammond. Fuck you know. yeah. God, <laughs> really? No, I just. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> I listened to half that because I was so fascinated by the Black Santa Claus. <laughs> what? Interesting. So, uh, well, it's not a real picture, but you, I guess they don't really put much. Uh, in the detail, this these these hackers. Well, dude, the emojis are like a key indicator of these hackers, dude. Look at those emojis. I guess the Christ, the laptop, and what's the that's a uh, wrench and a hammer for uh, mining data mining. Yeah, the gold uh, gold medal. Ten years experience in gold medals. Ten, yeah. Interesting to put just to pick ten years experience, and then it's private, so you can't really see if they're a real person or not. Yeah. Why do Hackers take hack. Why do hackers hack? Instagram. <laughs> take probably. Instagram right. accounts. Let's see what the answer here. Here's why hackers want your Instagram account. Okay, well, there we go. Oh, that's exactly what time. we want, dude. About time, Didi. Oh, I have a feeling we're going to run into some bed bugs here. Uh-oh. Uh, Instagram is now considered the king of social media. Dude, this is what I hate about modern news, dude. Mm. Let's just get into the meat and potatoes, dude. I don't want all these fucking salads, dog. I, I, I want to get to the food, dude. Boom. Y- you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Right? <laughs> Fucking people, man. Okay, so uh, let me skim through this and try to get... What? Can you do me a favor and guess why they hack? I think that uh, they probably hack 
what they think is popular accounts so that they can get people's information, kind of like what you said. Oh, okay. They're probably just like you. they hack and then they get... Maybe they target people they think are interested in like money and getting rich quick because like they look at maybe Daniel has something on his account or the person that got him hacked has something that they've been looking into like NFTs or Bitcoin or they're friends with people that do that shit. Oh, okay. Which is why I stay. I've always trusted the mighty dollar. Yeah. I've always been a fan of the dollar. I looked at the dollar. I said, look, this is real. This is what I'm into. A dollar. That's what Trump said. Trump said, you know, a lot of people are using Bitcoin now, but I've always been a fan of the mighty dollar. Oh, and you were really, really quick to, uh, mm-hmm. what is it called? The uh, quote Trump, dude, you know? Yeah, well, he's a funny guy. He's got a lot of funny <laughs> shit out there. <laughs> so basically, I'm, I've, I've skimmed through the article and they're saying how it happened so far. Okay, yeah. ha- hackers sell the accounts. Buyers use them to spread spam or propaganda or maybe use them to try to squeeze money from their owners. And yes, they're used to influence elections. Okay. This is a pain in narrative, dude. Also, Instagram, dude, probably one of the dumbest social medias right out there, right? Like oh, be cool. a lot of a lot of Instagram is like, you know, Shab. Shab probably loves Instagram. Insta- Instagram, you know? It's a lot of just pictures, not a lot of brain power and, and putting out stories. <laughs> sorry, sorry, being honest. I'll with have you. you known, dude. That my story today is doing extremely well, dude. Good. It's the the cooking one, right? No. Because, oh, you know, you don't speak Insta, dude. This one, where I'm on a show flyer, and they spelled my name incorrectly. Yeah, really? Did they do this one on purpose? I don't know. It feels like it. It's like so egregious that it Gerardo. feels like. Alicorn. A- 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 no fucking way. Yeah, look at it. See that? Alicorn? A- yeah. The, did you make this up, dude? I did not. Pain in Why would I make this? I do, dude. Aller that's what, corn. I, I take so much pride in the name bit, dude, because it's <laughs> real every time. They, it sounds like some, one of our fans made a show and booked you on it. Oh, yeah, I know. Gerald Allercorn. Gerard Gerardo. Gerardo is pretty funny. That's like Gerardo is when you're really not trying because Gerardo is the name of no one. And it, it really bugs me that people think that I make these things up because I don't. Okay. I have before once <laughs> gone to the coffee shop and asked for my coat to be called Josh Gerardo mm-hmm. and they misspelled my part of the name, which was still funny. Like you can't you can't write this shit, dude. How did they spell Gerardo would be R-A-R-D-O, right? Yeah, but they put Josh Rado, R-A-D-O. So oh, they, they tried to make it more like a real sounding name. Yeah. Josh Rado sounds more realistic than Josh Even when Rado. I told him Josh Rado, he looked at me like, and I, I felt that, you know, that feeling of like, oh, fuck, I'm going on stage for the first time kind of thing. You've been like, listen, I'm El Salvadorian. Yeah. Okay. I, I had to put on a poker face and be like, dude, that's my fucking name. Because that's what you would do if your name was Josh Rado. Yeah. And you had to go get coffee. You were like, you know, a little tired in the morning. Sure. And it's like, dude, just get, I don't want to spend another second on this fucked up name my parents gave me. Yeah. Just give me my coffee. I'm a good actor, dude. Yeah. You know? So anyways, you're not going to get that expert fucking post on Twitter, dude. No. No. Boom. You know what I mean? People fuck up your name. That's not going to happen on Twitter, dude. Oh, maybe, yeah, because I have like five different names on there. I mean, you could post, I don't know, you could post stuff on Twitter with the name. And so it's, it has words. It's a word app. Insta- the, I guess I just don't understand Instagram. I don't want to post pictures and I don't, I'm not a tech savvy person. So that really doesn't go to my narrative about it being for dumb people. Yeah. But it's like, you know, a lot of it is like influencers, right? Just kind of selling stuff. Isn't that what Instagram is? Um, I think you have like a, a different view of what Instagram is because you can just skip past stuff you don't want to see. Sure. But isn't a majority of it people being like, oh my God, we went to uh, Santa Barbara this weekend and you got to try the, like the so-and-so restaurant. And then we had ice cream at this place. There's, Instagram is essentially uh, Josh Terry as a, a social media platform. See, this is how- And another thing. <laughs> got to go down to my favorite whiskey crab shack. You know, that's what it's like. <laughs> that's <laughs> Josh Terry. That's definitely Josh Terry. Yeah. But I, I think that's, so that makes sense that people would use Instagram to hack because a lot of it is already people trying to, you know, get you to buy stuff. So they're like, yeah. people on Instagram are looking at like hot people going to the beach, but also they got this cool drink and then they use this energy powder thing to get all yoked. And then also they have sunglasses and then this kind of sunscreen helps your face. And it's just like the whole thing. You just go through scrolling. Oh, and we're also selling T-shirts. Why do you only follow influencers, dude? That's- I don't follow any influencers, <laughs> but I still see it all. I get ads for T-shirts, and I've never bought anything on Instagram, yeah. and I never will probably. 
but a lot of people buy shit on Instagram. So there's like, uh, fucking there. I see those stupid ads where it's like, guy, this is the perfect shirt for a guy that's not yoked, but it makes you look yoked. I get tons of that shit. Yeah, but you skip the ad. I don't ever like click it. I just, it's all there. You can skip it. What I'm saying is it's there. Yeah. All these things are there. So that's like hackers. complaining that you go on YouTube and you're like, yeah, every video I click on has this fucking ad for toxic poop. What the fuck is that all about, dude? <laughs> is YouTube really into toxic poop? Is that really happening? Yeah. Dude, we talked about this before on the podcast. <laughs> A lot of my ads were about toxic poop. Maybe like the microphone on my phone was picking up the sounds coming out of the restroom, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Toxic poop. I don't even know what that means, really. Yeah. Like, no. how, would you, how would you define a toxic poop? Do you want me to show you the ad I'm talking about? Sure. All right. Fuck you, dude. We're, we're here. But so like uh, with with Twitter, though, maybe I don't have ads because I'm on the blue or whatever. So that may be, it may be just the same and I'm not realizing it. But Instagram is definitely that. See, look at this shit, dude. Uh, Zupo, I guess. Where's... Okay, so toxic poop guy on YouTube... Yeah, dude. Is this the guy? Yeah. So this is the kind of shit I'm talking about. I used to get these ads all the time before I got premium. So this is where I left off on YouTube ads. Is okay. this kind of shit. What's up with this? So Aaron Rodgers has poop toxic guy. poop. This guy's all over. He must be paying a lot of money to YouTube to sit here and talk about poop all fucking day, man. <laughs> Have you ever thought about what exactly your poop is trying to tell you? It might sound gross to be talking about poop, but your pooping routine is vital. Dude, he said poop way too many times. I like how he has like the Jimmy Buffett, like Margaritaville music in the back. Yeah. Yeah. He's like uh, exclusively going after drunks. Yeah, let's see. Who poop too much. Is this it? Did you know that the average adult has 5 to 20 pounds of toxic poop in their body no, at any don't. given moment? Seems crazy, yeah. right? All that whack, poop whack, just whack, sitting whack. there, rotting away inside their intestines and colon. Is it any wonder that colon disease is on the rise with all Everybody this waste? Everybody always believes this stupid shit oh, about bad. toxins and nonsense. They're like, there's the toxins in your body and you got to help flush it out. Yeah. You got to have whatever Zupu or goji powder or fucking... Uh, vitamin B, B12 shots of honey or whatever. And all that shit is horse shit. Yeah, it's, that's toxic poop, dude. Yeah, that is the toxic poop. <laughs> the toxic poop is the bullshit that they're telling you. Yeah. To- B12 is toxic poop. Yeah. And, hu- and honey shots or whatever the hell. Fish oil. Bee honey. Yeah. Fish oil nonsense. Look at this guy. Yeah. Umzu, what's that? Oomzu. He can't even afford a real hat. Get a real hat like yeah. REI. Yeah. You ever heard of it? <laughs> Why am I going to get Zupu at umzu.com, dude? That's a good point. It rhymes too much. Why don't like, I go to zupu.com, dude? <laughs> Is his last name Umzu? Couldn't Zupu. afford the domain, daddy. <laughs> Zupu is selling Umzu now. <laughs> Umzu is selling poo pills. <laughs> this is late stage flappers like culture. Flappers would start selling stuff to make you poop. <laughs> yeah. At some point, flappers will be selling you poop stuff. Yeah, a two laxative minimum. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can't use it at flappers because the bathroom is broken. Yeah. But you can take it home with you after the show. See, this plays into people's fears, though. It's like if you have a fear of getting anything like colon related, you know what I mean? I Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Absolutely. Because it's one of the fastest up. acting cancers. Yeah, a lot of men should watch out for that. You got to get checked for it when you reach a certain age or whatever. You got to get Zupu, daddy. No. No. <laughs> yeah. Dude, no, don't. man. I don't have any <laughs> problem pooping. Uh, that's one thing I've uh, knock on wood. Knock it's never been an issue there. Yeah. No Gross. TMI. No battery changing at the gate when I poop, dude. No. I when I get to work, I say I'll see you in thirty minutes. I go to the bathroom. Yeah. So yeah. Anyways, back to my point, dude. So that's yeah. like saying YouTube is just a place that endorses toxic poop, dude. Just because it's an ad on YouTube. Well, YouTube is only videos, and there are all sorts of videos. There are videos. There, you know, is Andrew Schultz dead? And then there's like, you know, clickbait stuff and there's the SNL things. There's all that. Instagram is a lot of it influencers and advertisements for products. And the posts themselves are advertisements. Whereas this is just YouTube, you know what you're getting. You log on, you're going to watch a video, there's going to be an ad for some bullshit. And then the, the content starts. There's not as many like right, like as you're scrolling in the very smallest font possible, it says promoted post. And then it's a guy being like, um, look at this hat. Isn't this a great hat? Scroll through the hat. And no other hats. Great. Buy all right, it. All right, dude. So yeah. you know what I'm saying? You want to start this argument, dude? Sure. All right. 
Twitter's fucking pointless, dude. Twitter is a bunch of people that hardly know English putting letters together, dude, and mm. making some bullshit like, oh, just fucking clean my teeth. Why was there this in there? No picture, just fucking, just l- whatever, terrible lyrics to a terrible song. Everywhere you go on Twitter, dude. That's all I see, dude. <laughs> and then it's fucking people fighting each other with words that there's no context for because they can't fucking speak it. <laughs> well, Instagram lets you do videos, dude, and stories. And fucking you can, pick- you can do videos on Twitter. Yes, but I don't, you can't do stories. But that, they're not fucking known for that shit, dude. <laughs> Twitter's known for text-based bullshit. What are we doing, an RPG game right now? We're Dungeons and dragons in a fucking social media site? I love your speech just then because it sounded... Like, yeah, I don't know if you've ever shown, seen the show New Girl. Oh, no. But there's this character that Jake Johnson plays called Nick, and he sort of just gets mad and he says crazy, like, they, they don't really like... That. It's like one point and then another, and then he's, you can tell he's just frustrated. <laughs> he's like, and I don't understand. And so I'm yelling. <laughs> dude, yeah. I'm an Instagram daddy. You're a fucking Twitter bitch, dude. That's what it is, Doc. <laughs> I love this movie. And there's, you, you, were like, you started and you were like, and there's words and they're put together and they don't, they don't make, and then there's someone brushing their teeth. And then it's like, why are you even mad? But then you can't make stories. You can't make stories and you can't make videos. You can't make videos. Yeah, but also though, <laughs> They don't encourage it. Xenon ever get on there and encourage that was that was awesome. That was so funny. Twitter is fucking pointless, dude. I mean, I don't really care whether you like Twitter or not. I I think it's better because I like reading. Um, but that's I guess that's more my speed. What I, I'm but I'm I'm mainly yeah. I'm, a, I'm mainly hating on Instagram because I don't understand it. To be honest, to be fully honest with you, if I knew how to make stories. And all that stuff, I might be more into it, but I, kind of, I also kind of think that shit is boring. Like, oh. I don't watch anyone's stories. Uh, also, too, in when, any facet. when you were talking about it, I'm like, is this dude exposing himself? Because you're just following a bunch of hot chicks that are taking pictures in, like, Fashion Nova pants and shit. I mean, I don't, I, my my Instagram really isn't that. It's not hot. It, it used to be. <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest with you. It used to be a lot of women working out at one point. But so for some reason, my algorithm changed, and now... The majority of the clips are stand-up clips, and that's even that's more embarrassing. Mm. All my shit is like my friends and people I don't know being like, "Yeah, so dating's rough, right?" Or or crowd work shit where there a lot of it is people doing crowd work now. Give me your phone. What's going? Oh, wait a minute. Are y'all together? Oh, y'all are together. Okay, all right. So, oh wait, you're not. Wait, you're his brother. Oh wait, 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 wait. Oh my god, you have a gun. Oh my god. No. Um, <laughs> But no, just like stupid shit like that I hate. And that's part of, that's another reason why I'm not on there. Oh my God. If you're on Instagram, you get exposed to crowd work and then your account's hacked. <laughs> and then you, then sometimes you make up fake stories where people spell your name wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking it's lying. It's not fucking <laughs> fake, dude. <laughs> Narrative painter. No, dude. My, literally, Jesus sent me that and I posted it mm-hmm. and I didn't notice the name was wrong until... It was posted, and I was like, "They put Gerardo a la corn." When you uh, when you were talking about your day today, uh, you you left out the part where you went to Lowe's and bought paint to paint your narrative. <laughs> no, dude, I yeah, didn't dude. paint no narrative, dude. Yeah, dude, you fucking. I'm I'm trying so hard to think of the names of paint companies. Like I don't know Sherman shit. Williams. You fucking you sure? Idiot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know it because you fucking painted because <laughs> you bought it this morning. There's another one. What's that? Sh- not Sherman Williams. What's that one with his like uh, brown and uh, orange? What's that one? Uh, eight inches. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that one was. I, I remember when I was a dog walker, I crashed my car into this guy's garage in the hills. And my crazy boss was like, you got to go fix it. You have to paint. You have to paint his garage. And I was like, what? Paint his garage. I'm not going to do that. So I looked up how to like sand and I bought like spackle and sanded it down and painted it. And then the guy was like, what are you doing? Sure one is that's not the one I use. What's the Black and Decker, maybe no. Oh, maybe it's black and decker. It's not. But that is orange and brown too, I think. Church, church orange and brown paint. <laughs> this <laughs> it's is a, not gonna This is yeah, we'll just come up with the Orange and Brown Paint Company. But you you know what the thing is, is that uh, this is another thing where I envision people watching it. Did he just tell them to look up Orange and Brown <laughs> Paint Company? <laughs> and I did. Uh no, it's not showing up. Somebody's got to know what I'm talking about. They have stores everywhere. I thought it was Sherwin Williams. No, it's not Sherman Williams. 
I don't know what it is. I don't know if uh, paint is another issue. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to paint. If I ever have to paint something, I want to hire somebody to do Why it. Why is it looking? Maybe put up fa- famous paint companies. Oh, you're fucking. Paint, paint companies. You're so smart. I'm really not. Yeah, you like Twitter more than fucking Instagram, dude. Famous paint companies here. Ooh, pull it up, Jim. Uh, which one is it? Or maybe top paint companies. Um, Expo, Zinka. Companies that make paint. <laughs> sure, when William's not even on there? Yeah, this is painted narrative, dude. I have oh. not heard of any of those. What about this one? Luster Lack. Dude, these are whack ass paint Who's, companies. I haven't even heard of these ones. Yeah. Benjamin Moore. Maybe just put paint companies. <laughs> paint, top paint companies, U.S. Uh, top, top companies that make paint. What am I thinking of? Uh, Sherwin Williams, I think you're thinking of. Maybe I am thinking of Sherman Williams. Sherwin. Sherman. Sherwin. <laughs> no, I said Sherwin. I'm laughing because oh. it's so shabbish. <laughs> I think it's funny to call it Sherman Williams. I think I said Sherman Williams to begin. Oh, maybe Bear. Which one? Bear. B-E-H-R. No. I don't know what I'm thinking. Maybe I'm not even thinking of a paint company. They just It's a store See? that happens to sell paint. Maybe it's this one, dude. No. No. This is the best part of the any podcast we've ever done, dude. I kind of like <laughs> the idea of looking up paint. It's so funny to me. It's a random thing to do. <laughs> it's like, hey, look at that one store you went to years ago because you can't remember what you bought. <laughs> Sounds like something I do. See, look at, see that, that right here. See that, that, that color wave. I've never about, right? heard of bear though. <laughs> I would look it up my phone, but luckily I left my phone all the way up there. Could you, you imagine dare. I'm looking up my phone while people are watching, looking up paint companies. You know how they say watching paint dry is boring. Yeah. Instead of the listeners watching paint dry, they're watching us Discuss look up paint. paint. That, and I don't even paint. You paint. You got a big brush in your pocket. I'm not talking about your dick. <laughs> I'm not painting narratives, dude. You no, are. There's one thing, dude. The integrity of my name bit, dude, it will never fucking die, dude. Every single every single post that's on my uh, highlight story thing. Mm. Do you know what that is, you fucking Instagram hater? You fucking- no, I don't even know what that is, no. When you go on my profile, you can see my my highlight stories. So you can like, it says Gerardo. It's the one that's pinned, right? Yeah. That, yeah, I know what that is. Yeah, so, so boom, you can click that and see the history of people fucking my day up, dude. <laughs> um, you did, Remember when you read the message that you sent the producer? Oh, yeah. Is that on a free episode? Uh, I think so. Because oh, that's no. so funny, dude. It might be actually behind a paywall. I you, should re- it. you should edit that and like put that up for people to see because that was so funny. We were like debating over whether you were crazy in your posts and then you read off that message and you're like, all right, okay, maybe it is a little crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I knew it was crazy. That that shit was wild. Uh, I'm going to have to log into mine because it's, it's privated. Okay. But I, I, w- I wonder if um, I'm thinking of Black & Decker and they sell paint. I went <laughs> to some kind of paint store. I don't think it was Sherwin Williams. Yeah. But I think it's hilarious to call Sherman Williams Sherman. Or Sherwin Williams <laughs> Sherman you said Williams. it twice. It's hard. It's hard to say Sherwin. Uh, let's see here. Post archive. I can find this shit if you want, and we can read it. I oh, think. Oh yeah. I'm pretty sure it's on uh, the private episodes, but I could be wrong. Maybe we've already done this before, dude. If my phone was here, I'd probably just be friending Peggy Heyman right now and trying to get scammed out of my <laughs> accounts, so I can never log into Instagram again. <laughs> Can't make excuse. Bitch. I'd be like, oh man, I would be on IG posting my story so people could see, but unfortunately. Peggy Hammond hacked my account <laughs> and just posted a a fucking beautiful house in Riverside. Isn't it crazy though how often people misspell my name? Your name is misspelled often, but our fans now just do it on purpose because it's funny. True. Gerald. Let me see. This one is spelled correctly, so it's not that one. God damn. You sent like an Instagram message or something. You sent like a crazy message, I think, to somebody. Oh, this one's spelled wrong. Okay, so here we go. This is one of them. <laughs> More okay, so this was a, a show hosted by Vince and Daniel Cabral, and it's misspelled Gerardo uh, Alacrone. Yeah. Uh, I put, you can expect to see me at the show tonight in Eagle Rock at Mia's Hot Dogs. What I did not expect was for my name to be so horrendously misspelled. It's Gerardo, all caps, Alarcon, mm-hmm. not Alacrone. When I saw it, I kind of flipped out. I'm all good now, but kind of I wish it never happened. Kind of made my day go off the rails, but it kind of didn't bother me. Kind of not at all. Kind of. I don't know who's responsible for this travesty, but it'll, uh, I'll make it, I hope. Uh, it's not people misspelling my name so much as it is people getting it one letter off. That really bothers me. 
And I know what you're thinking, Gerardo, it's not that bad. Yeah. Well, I wish that was the case. It doesn't bother me at all though. I'm really fine. All caps. Nobody will change my name. Even if they try. Yeah. It's a mouthful. Yeah. It's mad long. Yeah. I could probably benefit from changing it. I can handle people not spelling it. It doesn't bother me at all. Kind of. <laughs> well, that was a friendlier one. I like the one. I like the one that you did where it was like the guy responds and he was like, well, the name you sent me was actually wrong or whatever. Do you know what I'm talking about? No, that's not what happened. Don't start <laughs> with that, Dean. <laughs> I like that you, you can read it if you want. You want, you want to be the one to read it? Sure. But you have you to, found it already? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. You have to do the emojis and everything. Oh, absolutely. This is from, this is Thank from. Thank you for telling me that. 2019. And can I explain the can bit? Can I read his responses? Yeah, but All let right. me finish, dude. Right. Can I explain the bit? Sure. The bit is that for a while there, a lot of people were misspelling my name. Here he misspelled it, Alacron. Common misspelling for comedy posters. Sure. Um, my bit was that the first time it happened, I left a little response mm-hmm. proactively. I knew this was going to happen in the future. And, I, and so I started with a little response yeah. as a caption for the poster. Yeah. And then the next time it happened, I made the caption a little longer and then a little longer and a little longer now to where this caption is that fucking big. It's huge, right? Yeah. Look at that. Cat. <laughs> yeah. Look at that Hawks. Yeah, dude. That's pretty, that's pretty long. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, I feel would like- you, would you think someone was kidding if they put something that long in a comment? But just it's, asking. But I'm not worried about the new viewers. I'm worried about the returning viewers at the time. I'm so just people, asking questions. Oh yeah, and I'm answering it, dude. Okay. I'm worried about uh, what's it called? People seeing it that are in on the bit, and right. they're probably dying laughing when they read it. So. Let me know when you've put the brush back in your pocket. Also, 2019. So I'm talking to you from a different perspective because I don't do this anymore. Obviously, I what? just share the story and be like, "What the fuck?" Is this? Whenever you're done, can you take off your smock? <laughs> you're like. <laughs> Uh, but here, here go uh, ahead and not your it. figurative smock so that I know that you're done painting. The and drawings. also take your time, dude. Don't do it too fast or anything. You know what I mean? Thank you, Picasso. <laughs> you fucking bitch. <laughs> 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 Once you're done hitting buttons, Monet. Um, <laughs> oh, man. Gonna I was going to put the song on for you. For, for reading this? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so funny. Ready? All right. Yeah, go ahead. I'm on the show tonight. They spelled my name wrong. That's in all caps. <laughs> I'm not mad, angry face emoji, not at all, angry face emoji, cursing. Come and check it out, exclamation point. It's going to be me and like 739 other comedians. Good douche. Good douche, dude. Uh, they Fuck that calling show. Calling out dude. the show for having too many comics. Wait, uh, first of all, dude, that was fucking dope of me, dude. Come it's on. It's so funny to like talk about a show badly like that, that you're going to be on. And there's too many people on here. Ducks. Okay, let's keep going. All right. They spelled all their names right. And then it's like a shocked emoji. What a surprise. And then, I don't, what's this emoji? Which one? Is that? Which one? That one? Is that like side eye? Oh, it's like kind of like, <laughs> you know, when you're, you're like, oh yeah, I definitely want to go. And then you do that. Yeah. I wanted to ask you, be, I knew already, but I just wanted you to do something like that. So oh, okay. There. I got that. <laughs> go, 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 go. It's going to be a great show, exclamation point. Come on out. Don't expect your name to be respected whatsoever, exclamation point. Can't promise you we'd get your name right even phonetically. We might just say your name wrong and ruin your day. Hands up emoji. <laughs> it doesn't ruin mine, exclamation point. I'm perfectly fine, exclamation point, sweating. <laughs> Seriously, it doesn't bother me at all. Not even a little bit. Hey, guys. This is in quotes. Hey, guys. Want to get Gerardo Alarcron on a show on March 8th? <laughs> Question mark. <laughs> Who the okay, fuck dude. is that? <laughs> Who the fuck is that? <laughs> It's Gerardo Alarcon, but I, that's the way you say it. Yeah. But I want to attempt to ruin his day by spelling his name on a flyer for a show he's been waiting his whole life to do, exclamation point, exclamation point. Okay, wait, well, you, well, you know, I'm being a little sarcastic, honestly, yeah. but uh, right. you also, these, these are quotes. This is like a quote back oh, that and was forth. A quote, right, yeah, right, right, right. right, right, quotes, yeah. right. LOL, seriously though, not even affected, not even a little bit, not even. I'm just giving my best life with, I'm just giving my best life with the worst name, I guess. Hands up emoji. IDK, how I'll ever get over this dude. I'll, I'll, that made it sound like yeah, I'm not gay there. Yeah. I'll, IDK, how I'll ever get over this dude. It's like two letters. I can't stop looking at it. Like, what the fuck? You couldn't. I always thought that that was the funniest part of the bit where I, in there somewhere I'll put, like, I can't stop looking at this. <laughs> it's like back in a way how you truly feel. Yeah. Like, what? And I'll really. Like, WTF, you couldn't even double check word, question mark. Word. Word. Oh, word like Microsoft Word? No, like Dave Chappelle. Word, word. Oh, word. Okay. Yeah. 
you guys got Ashikian and Mandium right, but not Gerardo. Isn't that wild, dude? Ashikian, her name was perfectly fine. That's so funny that you looked at other names to like compare. Oh, dude, when you're right. trying to flesh out a bit, dude, you're doing looking at everything. You did your homework. Yeah, I took a fucking yeah. airplane over here, dude, and I looked at it from over here, and then I came back over here, dude, had a layover on the bit, dude. Right. Had to look at and so I saw a Shiki, and I was like, that's fucking comedy gold, dude. They show spelled, prep. He basically they, did show prep for this. They, I've, there was one time where they spelled Bernice right, and I was like, that's wild. You know <laughs> what I mean? How many E's is in Bernice? Tell yeah. me, please, please. How many E's is in Bernice? Two. A lot more than you would think, dude. <laughs> That's all I'll say. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Actually, three. I think. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, three, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny, dude? I'm just laughing at Bernice. It's always, fuck that guy and his last name, exclamation point. WTF is a Mandium. Is that a chick that wakes up super early? Because And then the joke there is Mandy AM. Oh. Right? That's what your joke oh, is. Oh, yeah. See, dude, I'm not... Uh, this is... I was not one of the thousand, dude, for sure. I mean, I just, I think it's so funny that Jay Mandium is getting strays in this thing. Yeah. It's like you pick two other people that like, I don't know. I wonder if they read this and were like, huh, interesting show I'm on. Is that a chick that wakes up super early? Question mark. Don't get me started on a Sheikian. Sounds like a car with no lotion. Okay. Well, That's this, very I racist. Am, I am not proud of this. A Sheikian, like Ashy. I remember the only reasons I know what these things meant now is because we explained them on the last, or you explained them to me on the last one. Yeah. It took me a while to get um, know, what you're talking about. Yeah, dude. Come on, Gerardo. What are you doing? You still have like three or four more sentences. All right, here we go. Look, people. The weight of my heart is spelling my name right. Okay? Question mark. I've held this secret long enough. But if you want to know this Latin fuzzy teddy bear, don't spell my name fucking wrong. <laughs> I, I guess who I know. <laughs> I'm going to keep this short. <laughs> Hilarious, That's dude. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to keep dude. this short at the very end. And sweet. <laughs> have a great day. Come out. Number 169. What is number 169? Oh, I was sober. I was. <laughs> so for the first year of sobriety, I posted the days of my sobriety. What, the, can you like? Can you find where he emailed you, though? Because that was pretty funny that he emailed you back. He didn't email oh, me. Oh, dude. is this just this comment? Uh, I think so. Let me see. Is that the only comment that he put? Let me, uh, let let me, me check it. Yeah, one second here. Painted narrative there. Uh, oh, we... <laughs> um, okay, so Amazing Comedy Theater is the place. Oh yeah, yeah. That Which, guy, yeah, by yeah, the yeah. way, this guy is a very neurotic type. Yeah, he's a, he's a, a a reputation. And another thing too is important to state. I talked to him that night and I explained the bit to him. Mm -hmm. My name was fucked up on the flyer too there, and he put me last. And <laughs> and he crossed my name out. <laughs> yeah, because he was pretty. He didn't upset. think you were gonna show up. No, he he probably expected me there, but he was pretty upset about the whole thing. But he thought that I was calling him out, but he didn't know it was a bit. Explain right. it to him later. Anyways, this is the comment where he was upset. Yeah. Um. We spelled your name exactly how it was sent to us by the person who booked you. Next time, <laughs> just email us and we'll update it to the correct spelling. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then and then I was still in bit mode, dude. So I said, uh, it doesn't bother me at all, sweaty face emoji. Thanks, though. I appreciate the concern, but unneeded here, not crying whatsoever. Still in the bit, dude. Come on. <laughs> when you're early in comedy, you don't know when to end a bit. You're kind of stuck in a bit constantly. But he didn't respond to that one, right? Uh, no, but uh, people that enjoy the bit... Uh, responded. They put a bunch of la laughy face emojis. Yeah, I mean that that is so funny to me. That did like when you showed up there and he was mad. Do you remember at all? Like was he like literally in your face about it? No, we literally talked. Okay. Like I just talked to him. And did we say once you explain the bit? We say, oh, I guess I get it. No, he was still kind of like, oh, don't, don't do that kind of thing. <laughs> He's trying to give you advice. Yeah, yeah. He's like, listen, comedy. Only a thousand can do it, man. I did it after that, but that was the climax of the bit. Right. I'm not you saying start that. worrying that. Or you start realizing like, maybe I shouldn't be. Oh, look at you pulling out your paintbrush, dude. Um, <laughs> no, I, I'm saying that that, it, not that the bit was successful whatsoever. It wasn't. I thought it was just, it made me laugh. Yeah. Um, but it, obviously it makes you look like a weirdo kind of thing to people. Yeah, if people don't know you, they think you're crazy because they don't understand the bit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so... It, I kind of like toned it down from there. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But right. I would still do the bit because, dude, you got to, you know. You'll so. still post a story about it to everyone that follows you. Uh, no, the posts, like the actual flyers of the shows. Yeah. Bef you know, before the pandemic, is that's how I did it. Yeah, I would yeah. just, and then I started podcasting and I would just talk shit about people spell misspelling my name on the podcast. <laughs> so funny. One of the funniest things you've ever done. Uh, all right. Well, we got to get out of here, dude. So let me yeah. uh, find some voicemails. Um, let me see here. I think we have a new one. 
Also, we're recording a little early this week because we got travel schedules coming up. We're only the thousand that can do it, you know. And every once in a while, maybe gone for shows. Uh, yeah, so we don't have any new voicemails because we're recording so soon. Yeah. But uh, last week's episode was dope, so I think we're going to get more voicemails from that. Is there any reviews on oh, podcasts? You can check the Apple. I good remember. question. One guy said that he wrote a review, but I looked and I didn't see anything new. Yeah. And so maybe it didn't show up. I think that same guy was saying that it won't post his. So mm. uh, let's see here. He's blocked as a crackhead magician. <laughs> I don't know. Um so I think we've already read this one, but if we haven't, I'll just read it. This show is different. Mets 777, like the soothing winds of Kratom, the rushing invigorating waters of rain energy and the flash alertness of a pouch of nicotine. This pod will bring peace. Yeah, we read this already. Yeah, no, I, that sounds like, that sounds like something I read every morning to myself. <laughs> At 434. Yeah, dude, that's, that's one of the, uh, that, that review is my North star. So I know we've, done that one before uh let's see in 10 I'll, minutes i'll never for, i'll never forget like the soothing winds of kratom <laughs> it's a good one in 10 minutes a shop has a new one uh it's 10 out of 10 from podcast space lizard it says this show is an outlier b savage show beast of a work ethnic on these cats i love this show in every facet bapa all right dallas that's my time <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's well good yeah right stuff for 10 minutes a shop too we appreciate it um <laughs> Well, I haven't checked the downloads on that. I know I'm not a numbers guy, but I used to just destroy this down the audio downloads on this show on Spotify alone. So yeah. Also, surprising uh, there's not more reviews. We're leaving early so that you can go record uh, the Gringo Poppy for a second time. That's dude. true. I didn't nail the Gringo Poppy the first time I did it. Like I didn't get the um, mannerisms and like movements that he does. Yeah. And I also didn't even say the beginning right. <laughs> You're supposed to say "What's up, Dallas?" And I went into him at. Like right before the mic, and I was like, I think I got it, like 100%. <laughs> and then I immediately went on stage and I was like, Look at you guys. And I was like, Fuck. And then I went, What's up, Dallas? But also, fucking right before, fucking, you know, I wasn't, but yeah. right before I went up, the first line is, What's up, Dallas? The host started telling, before I went up, the host started telling a story about his dad dying in Dallas. Oh, yeah. So that really yeah. threw me off. I was like, What the, of all the times to talk about this, when I, the whole thing is going to be a thing about Dallas, you're talking about your father dying in Dallas. I don't want to talk. I want to do the bit now. The whole reason I'm here is to do the Gringo Poppy shit. So we're going to hold off on the Gringo Poppy drop yet yeah. for Patreon. We'll hold off on a little bit. But we're going to try it again tonight. Hopefully this one's Negflix, Daddy. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's it. All right. Have a good week. Bye.